What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World and today we're going to be talking about the all new Chemistry 101 solos that EA Sports has just released. Now before we get into that, it's going to have a lot to do with, you know, adjusting the players in your lineup. So I have several videos here on how to set your lineup um, and do it for different solos here at G Myers World if you just search it within my channel. But I'm going to go through it again because I'm actually currently doing something for the Gauntlet. Uh, the Gauntlet Premium, where we have to do something like that to uh, actually get certain chemistries together so that we can do the Premium Gauntlet solos. So I'm going to show you an example of that. Pretty much what you have is this, Chemistry 101. You're going to have to complete solos to choose between two players. You can get different auction overalls, or you can get a net. Now, in this case, you know what you're getting, so you're choosing your player. I would go with the, uh, you know, the auctions, because... It's going to make sense to go with the auction just because you know you're guaranteed to make some coins uh, because you know what you're getting. Um, in any other instance, you're going to have to put together a decent amount of chems to get these because you see how it's tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, and tier 4. For each prospective tier, you're going to get a specific chemistry for each one, you know, for each solo that you do. The tiers go by uh, how many solos you're into uh, within that actual, you know, like for instance, right here. This is the pound of rock. So for the first couple solos where it's tier one, you're going to get a tier one trophy. For like the second tier, you're going to get the tier two. For the couple three, you're going to get, you know, the tier three. And for the last, you're going to get the tier four. So initially for all of them together, you're going to get the tier ones, which will give you either this Alan or Davis, or you can get a Tolbert or uh, uh, the star Latulele, Latu Lele. Uh, you got the Tory Smith, you got the Georgia Loca, and you got Lynch, and you got Hayden, all right? So you got auctions, and you got Nats. If your team is not suitable, you may want to go for the Nat. If you got a decent amount of coins, for instance, like I said, you can make a lot of coins doing this because you can actually use the auctionable things, plus you're going to get coins from the actual solos. So you could come up with about 100K with this, right? It's an easy 100K come up. So let's go to the solo challenges, and we're going to break it down, right? You're going to go over to the Chemistry 101 solos. It's 84 solos. Okay, so for each one, you're going to have to be, what is it, one, it's 12 for each one, right? I think, yeah, 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, so like I was saying, you see this tier one item? This tier one trophy item is three games in, all right? Then you go six games in, it's a tier two trophy item. You go nine games in, it's a tier three trophy item. You go in all the way to tier four, there you go, you get the tier four trophy item. So now... You're probably saying, okay, um, I didn't see your video before. Can you explain to me how to get my actual chemistry to these tiers? Now, you can see for this example, I have the go deep chemistry, which is uh, simulated by that arrow there. You got move the sticks, pound the rock, physical front, read and react, blanket coverage, toughness. All right? So they actually are explaining to you a lot of the chemistries that are going into the actual players. Now, these symbols are going to be found on the players that you're going to need to set your lineup. So when we go to it right now, for instance, I'm, I right now have my lineup set up for the Gauntlet Unleashed Premium. And this is per, uh, the NFC South. So you're going to see on my right side, you see how I have the Tampa Bay chems at a certain level? And it's Tier 1. Atlanta Falcons is Tier 1. Carolina Panthers is Tier 1. The Ravens are Tier 1. What that is doing is it's letting you know that I have at least three players from each uh, team to get that tier one. So for every three, you get a tier. Okay. So when you go over to go deep, right, we're going to go to go deep because actively right now with this, with even where I'm at right now, this is where I am. I have tier one blanket coverage. I have tier uh, one physical front. I have tier one toughness and the, they show you the players that has the specific thing. When you go to highlight it, um, right here, what is this? The, t the toughness, you have to look for the actual icon on the players, and they should highlight. Now, I don't know why he's highlight. Okay, is he actually tough? I know that uh, Sean Taylor is actually toughness, but I don't see toughness on Adrian Amos. I'm going to have to click on it. But, for example, you see like how you have the dumbbell on Don Terry Poe? I have three players that have that logo on them, that little uh, toughness logo, so that's going to contribute. I got this guy who's also contributing to it as well. So once you have the three, I don't see the third guy with the toughness, though, because I don't think that Sean, T yeah, Sean Taylor's toughness doesn't count in that because he's, a, he's secondary. So there's one more person with toughness on him, and I don't see him. 
because we have three there. Unless they are counting these other players for toughness, which that doesn't make any sense because I was told that it doesn't. So when you right now, okay, oh, there he goes. Okay, Terrell Suggs. So that's one, two, and three. So for each tier, you need three. So these are my three for toughness. Now, when he, you see how he's not starting, so it's like X'd out. If I put Sean Taylor as the starter, just to give you an idea of what happens, instead of three now, we should have four. So it's going to update itself to have four for toughness. So once you see how it goes four and it's gray, once you add another two, that's going to go toughness tier two. For instance, the quarterback that I have starting right now for this, because he's a Tampa Bay Buck that I got from Longshot, is Devin Wade. Ben Roethlisberger has toughness. So if I add toughness, if I add him for toughness, I'm going to have five. Okay, so when I go to toughness now, it should show five. You see it? How it's gray? Because it, it stays gray until you get it full, then it changes. All right? So now that I have it like that with toughness, that's, that's three, that's two, that's five now, right? So one more. I have LaDainian Tomlinson on my squad. So let me put LaDainian Tomlinson, the level master. He has toughness. So now we should be at tier two. You see how it goes to the top now? Now we have six. So another three is going to give us tier three. And then finally, with 12 players with the toughness um, little, little thing on them, the little icon, you're going to have tier four. You see what I'm saying? So right now when you look at it, we're at tier two. So we can go through and do all those toughness tier two solos specifically for that uh, section of the solos. And you would just apply this with everything that you need. That's pretty much how you would... Um, you know, get everybody going. Now I have to remember what I just had. Okay, I had, uh, okay, just for this position, I have to put him back there because I have to go and continue to do my uh, Gauntlet Unleashed solos that I was actually doing before I started to show you uh, show you guys how to do this so you guys can be ready to go with that. Um, so let me put Sean Taylor back because I'm actually doing stuff with Sean Taylor as well, trying to get him to be in different uh, sections. That's why I don't have him starting. So I should have all my tears set for my, uh, my Gauntlet Unleashed Premium. And just to give you an idea of what I'm actually doing right now and why uh, my tiers are set the way they are, you see Gauntlet Unleashed? If, you're, if you don't have um, the actual... Hold on, wait a minute. What am I missing? Did I take somebody else out? Because I'm supposed to have New Orleans Saints. Okay, so I'm missing somebody. Did I take an extra person out and oh. wasn't aware that I did it? What happened here? Uh, Tampa Bay. I should have all of them. What's happening? Tampa Bay, the Saints... Why is the Ravens there? Okay, so I'm missing one person. The Bucks. Oh, because the quarterback, Devin Wade. All right, uh, put him back. That's why, that's why I couldn't unlock it. Because you can't unlock it unless you have your, uh, your chemistry set. So I should have NFC South set completely. Yep, Saints, Panthers, uh, there you go, Falcons, and Bucks. All right, so now I have all those tier threes. Now the Gauntlet Unleashed, which is the NFC South for this week, is going to unlock now. You see, I'm, I'm four of seven. So... That gives you an idea of how to set your lineup, how to get all those tiers, how to get it to where you need to be. So all you're going to have to do now, right, if you don't have the players, you're going to go to the auction house and you're going to search by whatever. You're going to search by toughness, whatever it is. It's set up pretty simply, uh, pretty simple for everyone to use. You're going to go to the chemistry and then you're going to just whatever you're searching it by. You're going to search it by toughness, for example. All right. And then uh, let me see. I, I'm not sure. If they have it with silvers, let's check. Okay, so they do have silvers with toughness. So this guy would be an example of having a QB, uh, you know, having a player with toughness that's available. Obviously, um, I have Ben Roethlisberger, so I have no need for that. But I would think that, let me see, bronze, probably nothing. Yeah, so silver, gold, and um, you would just try to find the cheapest players and put them in your lineup at whatever position, get 12 of them, and then go, go to bat. Blast out the solos, get the nat, get the auctionable, however you want to do it. The auctionable is going to help you get more coins, and I think you should be able to get a decent come up from doing these uh, chemistry one-on-one -on -one solos. If you have any other questions, you can feel free to ask. We're trying to get everybody to be a better mutt player here. Definitely subscribe and share, and I'll see you guys and girls next time. One love.